we're going to take it. Everybody agreed to take it out and pass that last structure that's over in Oak Wood. So, yeah. So, yeah. And I've got all of my Kelly's calculations to their engineers. So, okay. It goes hand in hand with the street body part here. Yeah. There's only one rock that needs to be moved over there. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> Go from there to there. <laughs> uh, Council, any other questions? Too late to get on the agenda this time. We reviewed the plans Thursday for the Heritage Grade School. That's going to be the next month's meeting. Next up, discussion and possible action to renew the annual contract with Claims Management Resources for Property Damage Claims Services. Mayor Purdy explains. Uh, Council, this is a company that I think two years ago they uh, we've had a contract with for about five years they were previously called citywide subrogation they uh, in essence they submit requests for claims uh, against insurance companies uh, of individuals who damage public property in the city of Tahlequah as a result of a traffic accident uh, or, or some other means and this has been a uh, uh, I think a valuable uh, asset to the city to recoup a, a little bit of revenue on what otherwise has just been an outlay of funding to help fix and repair those those types of damages. Uh, this is a standard contract that's been in place I think pretty much since the beginning. Uh, they work on a contingency basis and we recommend the approval for another fiscal year of this contract with claims management resources. Be happy to entertain any questions that you might have. Otherwise, entertain a motion. Next, we have discussion and possible action on resolution number 06 21 10, adopting the fiscal year 2010 2011 budget. Mayor Purdy explains. Council, uh, this, of uh, course, is an uh, item that we've carried over since the uh, uh, in, uh, submission of the proposed budget for this year. Uh, the only comment I'd like to make on, and I think we've outlined in the budget message, what we see is the significant challenges, and I've had the opportunity to visit with each of you about those. Um, you know, the coming year looks like it'll bring for the city of Tahlequah. Um, my only comment is I hope that they're wrong. I hope that those uh, projections are not as challenging as, as we anticipate that they will be. Uh, there are some good early signs, uh, and I would say this about uh, that hope that perhaps their, their, our revenue will become stronger over the course of the year than we anticipate. If it does, we've asked our employees to go without raises. This will be the second year in a row. And, and if our revenue picture uh, changes significantly enough where we can, that will be our first consideration of a substantial amendment to the budget is to request your consideration of, uh, of a, a supplemental or some other uh, uh, payroll increase for our employees should the budget allow it. Uh, I think we have taken the conservative approach, the one that protects the assets and the services uh, for the city of Tahlequah and all of our citizens. Uh, we've made every effort to preserve all the jobs that we have that deliver those services in this community, but we've had to make some really difficult decisions and take some cuts, particularly in the capital resources arena, uh, that will help us get there. And holding wages back has been one of them on the labor side, too, that we've had to make. So um, with that, uh, I'll be happy to entertain any questions that you might have about the budget. Uh, the uh, statutory requirement is, I think, two days from now for the council to have approved the budget. Next, we have discussion and possible action on appointments to a Citizens Charter Review Committee. Mayor Purdy explains. Uh, I have asked the council to consider the appointment of individuals uh, based on our discussion. We anticipate those will come from generally from the wards. Um, but, um, and I uh, think that there was a little bit of confusion, and I apologize for that, Mr. Turney, on the number of appointments to be made from each of the council positions, uh, which I, I think we generally understood to be three. 
Um, but there are, about this question on the charter review, let me say that there are probably um, very few questions, I, I think, and issues that arise in the community that uh, are more important than this issue about how we are organized, how we conduct our business as a, a municipal government than this question on, uh, of our charter. And it's been about 20 years since we've taken a look at this. And uh, uh, as I made a statement on uh, the issue about uh, capital improvements associated with the bond program, that's just too long in between. Uh, healthy communities ask themselves questions a little more frequently than that. And I think that um, the time is, is right now. And discussing some of your considerations for appointments council, uh, I think that I uh, anticipate tonight that the composition of the committee uh, will reflect uh, all interests in this community and, uh, and be a, a very good representative body uh, that are, is fully capable of being able to ask the important questions about uh, our local government and consider the need, if any, uh, for changes to our organizing document called the, the City Charter. Um, with that, I would ask for, uh, starting with Councilman Nichols out of Ward 1, uh, for your three appointments, Councilman Nichols. Uh, I want to appoint former Mayor Jerry Cook, a lady named Diane Weston, and uh, Attorney Angie Jones. Very good, thank you. Uh, Councilman Spears. Mr. Mayor, I would like to recommend Larry Dodson, Gary Gore, and Linda Spires. Very good. Thank you, sir. Gary Dodson, or Larry Dodson, Larry Gary, Dodson. Gary Gore, and Linda Spires. Very good. Um, Mr. Turney? Uh, <clears throat> I'd like to uh, recommend Beth Harrington, Isabel Baker, and Jim Richardson. Beth Harrington, Isabel Baker, and Jim Richardson. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. And Ms. Bradley? I have Jack Dobbins. Mary Giesland and Senator Jim Wilson. Very good. Thank you, ma'am. And I would offer uh, Mr. Brian Woodliffe, uh, Mark Gish, and J.D. Carey as uh, my appointments. Uh, I have asked, as is common in these situations, uh, in these kinds of commissions or committees, uh, Mr. Gish to, uh, to chair this committee, uh, where the committee goes in terms of appointments of other officers, <coughs> or uh, assistants or helpers is up to the committee after that um, but in in the helper arena I would like to uh, also indicate that I've asked David Moore to help uh, provide facilitation and coordination assistance for the committee and David I appreciate your willingness to to help in that regard um, so we'll expect to hear from you and, and, and Chairman Gish and others about getting the committee geared up in the very near future to introduce them to the uh, uh, to the uh, charter and uh, and be available to answer any questions that they might have next up we have discussion and possible action to approve engagement letter with Barry Spires CPA to audit the general purpose financial statements of the city of Tahlequah for the period ending June 30th 2010 for a gross fee not to exceed $13,500. Kevin Smith explains. Um, Barry, he's, uh, he's done our work for the last um, couple years, I don't know. Um, he comes out of the fee of 13.5. He has in there a letter of engagement letter. We all had an opportunity to look at it. Uh, we would ask that you all approve this, uh, this contract. Any questions of Kevin on the proposal for the audit services from Mr. Spires? Is there a motion? 